So guys, welcome at my channel. On this uh, video here I'm going to show you how to turn off uh, this LED lights here like you can see. Yeah. Now for now it's my mobile light that is uh, Yeah, but maybe you can see it now, you see? So um a lot of guys are searching uh, software or a tool or a, a fix how to get this off here because yeah this this takes uh, a bit more battery we can say it's not that much but I will show you how to fix this problem and I will show you also how you can um, yeah disable the lights and it's yeah it's up to you if you like to do that or not so and the first thing is you take your battery out yeah take it out and then you have here one two three and four screws like you can see these are these ones here yeah you take them out this four one two three four so and then you take this one out here yeah and um, this one here yeah so don't forget to get also this two at the back side you got to open it also or you will not get the other side out and then you take this part out here yeah so and here you got your screws for the cable here one here one and under the HDD is one also hidden here, like you can see here. Yeah. So autofocus. Hope this works. Yeah. Black background, always hard to focus. So um yeah. You got to take them out and then we will turn now. So then you turn it back, yeah. To the other side and um you got to begin with this one here this part here you can take out um, when you go here with your finger under there you see you can pull it up a bit or you can also begin on the left side here but it's a bit hard don't think that this silver one here gets out also because it will not you need to uh, get here the the black one yeah I go always here in the middle with my fingernail you see and then I try to pull it over here wait so and then we go here and the left side is open and then we go here to the right side and there yeah, it's a little bit hard all with one hand but I want to show you this guys so and after you have done this you can push it a bit um, front you see you can push it a bit front to the display yeah and then you got here one two three and four screws for the keyboard you got to open them also this four screws and then you can take also the keyboard out okay so let me do this so now I have put just the keyboard to the other side and here we got the, the other part steel you see and uh, you can take this cable here out this cable here is for the for the touch panel here yeah, and for the lights of the touch panel so you can take this out here is the cable for the one and off button like you can see and here you can take it out also and then you have here now all the thing here okay so put it careful back to a safe place and um, now we got here the thing that a lot of people are searching <laughs> and uh, yeah I will show you guys now how you can do that and like I told it's up to you if we will do or not I have done this all now because I'm a real skilled guy we can say with this stuff and for first you got to take out the monitor cable like you can see here this is the monitor cable and then you you see this um this black um 
yeah, Tesa, I don't know the name in English, but you see this black thing here, and um, yeah, you can try to take this black thing up carefully to the side, you see, and then we got here, like you can see, a lot of cables, yeah, and um, this connector here is all for the for the screen, we can say, yeah, for the for the monitor and um, yeah let's test this guys I will just show you this now I will um, connect it back again and um, like you will see now you will see that the, that the logo at the back side will turn on okay so now I will oh, okay I forgot the battery second Okay guys, I connect the battery back inside. Now I will turn on like I told. Here we go. He's going on now. And like you can see now, I will pull this back now. Wait a second. So, and you can see the light is on, yeah? Let me disable my mobile light. So, and you can see the light here is on. And um, yeah, a lot of people wondering, are wondering why they can't uh, disable this. Yeah, it's a bit shit from HP that uh, it has no BIOS option to disable the slides. Because uh, yeah, when you using your notebook on battery, um, this is also a small reason that the battery goes uh, faster off. Uh, I also don't like uh, these lights here. They are not on now because I took this cable out. Um, but this is also, yeah, yeah. This is also the reason why the battery goes faster off, like you can see. Um, it won't be cool when you um, close the the monitor that this also gets off, you know. But uh, it still it still keep getting on, and yeah, that's a bit fucked up, I think. And HP called to that better. I don't know why they have not done this but yeah whatever now I will turn it off again so pull this cable out again now and sorry for my English but uh, yeah the most already know that I'm not talking and speaking perfect English so the thing is like I told now you can go here and open this um, monitor cable like you can see yeah and then you take back this um, let me focus again then you take back this cable here like I see uh, like I told you the the black one and here at the left side we can say at the left side of the of the cable here at this side at the left side we got at the first cable we got the white one so let me try to open this now. It's all a bit difficult now here uh, with one hand for me, but I will try my best. So and here we go. I already have opened it, and uh, yes, I have tested a lot of things here, and I saw it must be one of the first cable. And like you can see here, I hope you can see that right. So let me focus this. You can see the white cable I have already cut it and sold back again, yeah? And um, yeah, it works. I've cut them. I've cut him and the light is uh, off. I have here my, my solder here, like you can see. And um, I will now, um, we can say, cut them, cut this white cable again. And I will demonstrate you this again. Second. So, and, um, yeah, like you can see, I have, uh, s uh, yeah, unsoldered, I have cut this white cable, like you can see again. Now, carefully, um, just put it somewhere, so that it has no contact to the white cable, like you can see. And, um, yeah, but you also can let it open, but it's better when you take him a bit up, so you are on the safe on the safe side like you can see so they are not together now wait don't want that they get contact so 
now it looks great just close it a bit so I have cut the white cable like you can see and I will connect this uh, connector back yeah click it's back again and I hope that they have not contact <laughs> or this will be a bit fail now so but let me try that normally it should work sorry for the resolution we can say sometimes it gets not focused so let me connect it back and now I will turn on again the notebook so it's on I will disable my phone lights again it's going on and then let's see now and you can see it's not on yeah okay guys so you can see the notebook is working yeah and uh, I've like I told disconnect the white cable and that's why now the light at the back the back side of the monitor is not on let me show you this again you see it's not on I don't know why I like it so <laughs> but whatever it's up to you guys if you want to cut him or not I have just done this video now to show you guys uh, which cable it is this is the model uh, Pavilion DV7 3090EG and I think the most uh, pavilions DV6, DV7 and DV8 are nearly at the same way made and yeah I will make it off now again and um, you can also get one switch here you see you can get the switch like this on and off yeah and then you just take um, we can say old uh, IDE cables and these cables here are very good because you can take one cable and they are very slim you see you just take one or two cables and then you sold one cable on the white one yeah um, sold it on this cable one here you see you can these are two cables you know I hope you can see this you, these are two cables and you can pull them off you see here so now you can see it better and you have here two cables one two and yeah you must sold one cable there and at the other side the other one for the white cable if you understand what I mean <laughs> maybe I will do that maybe not I'm not sure um, because I love this notebook very much and the other thing is I have also find a place to um, put this um, switch inside and um, you can see here we have here a part this was for the old uh, for the old um, internet you know for the old phones and um, this switch here is uh, really perfect yeah it, it fits perfect inside here and if you take this part out here you can put this cable inside uh, this switch here you see because it's just perfect I hope you can see that guys it's just perfect yeah look it looks just perfect you can take this out and pull him inside or you can make here a, a small hole here in the middle and uh, then you can let look the button out and then you can click it on and click it off the lights like you want and yeah like I told it's up to you guys I hope you like this video and it helps a bit now you know uh, how to disable the HP logo at the back side and yeah I don't know if this will work or if this will help a lot for the battery but uh, I think in my eyes it's better to buy a, a better quality battery with more uh, milliampere's and then you are at the safe side we can say but I don't know maybe I will yeah tune it with this switch here if yes I will do a video again if not yeah who knows I don't know for now <laughs> okay guys wish you the best and uh, yeah see you later
if you like it thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you like of course yeah so peace and see ya